First up, uh, we got some heating pad. New York hottest product is <laughs> this heating pad. Heating pad. Well, we've, we've actually had a heating pad in a smaller size. This one is like five centimeters longer, and some people have asked for the larger size, so we stock it now. It's basically just the thermal wire wrapped in Kapton, and you get a red and black wire, and you can connect five to twelve volts to it, which I've done here, uh, and it gets warm. So you know, with five. Um, Five volts, it gets a little, I mean, it's a hand warmer. It's a little warm and toasty and then 12 volts, it'll get hotter. And then you'll probably want to have a feedback mechanism. You can PWM the voltage and then uh, use a temperature sensor to see what temperature you're hitting and then, you know, turn off the power when it gets too hot. Um, then it gets super warm at five volts, maybe like, you know, 100 degrees or so. Yeah, Fahrenheit. I've seen people use these in high altitude balloons so their stuff yes. doesn't freeze up. That's what it's usually used for. Well, you know, people sometimes want to make, you know, heating electronics to keep them warm in, in winter uh, or in cold environments, but it's often used for, uh, yeah, high altitude balloons or, or electronics that have to live outside and you want to keep them warm. Um, if you have enough power, it does take extra power, but you can keep everything at a safe level. So larger heating pad and it's flexible and stuff. You can, you can move it around and okay. twist it and move it. And we have the smaller size if this size is too big. Next up. We have the full rack wireless eight channel uh, Laura hat kit. So if you want a ready to go rack wireless based Raspberry Pi Laura gateway, um, there, you know, we have the Things Network gateway, but maybe for some reason you want a Raspberry Pi built one. Um, if you want to connect extra hardware to it or you really want to run your own uh, Linux distribution, this kit, you will get the case, the eight channel LoRa uh, Wi-Fi transceiver with GPS, GPS antenna, LoRa 900 megahertz antenna, power supply, mounting screws, Raspberry Pi uh, 3, and all that good stuff. So you just have to put it together, which isn't too tough. You just plug stuff in. You even get an SD card, uh, put it together, and you can make your very own extremely powerful, like professional grade LoRa networking gateway. Next up, we got some M5. More M5 stuff. We had the M5 stacks, now we have the M5 stick. Um, this is a really adorable little board that is ESP32 based. It has a whole bunch of stuff inside. We actually even took one apart that I can show uh, the innards for. Yeah. But it has an ESP32 inside of it, a USB serial converter with um, USB-C, and it also has battery charging. There's a 80 milliamp hour battery inside, which I'll say it doesn't run very long. So it's not for long term, you know, it doesn't run for more than like an hour or two, maybe an hour. It has a microphone, a six DOF sensor. Um, it has like infrared. LED and a red LED it has a bunch of buttons. Uh, it has a color TFT display, um, and of course the ESP32, which is a Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. Uh, so if you have used the ESP32, um, you know it's like you know it's very powerful. You can use the Arduino and MicroPython. So this is a lovely little enclosure. We pulled the top off, obviously, to to get this going. Um, let me see if battery is dead. Better not be dead. Yeah, I think I have to charge this one. But I have the um, version that has um, the full watch body. So this is basically this, but it comes also with uh, this plastic hardware. Okay. Do you want me to go to that one? Yeah. It's the same thing, but like it comes with extras. So this extras, you can make a little watch out of it. comes with a watch app. It's a nice yellow color. And I've got the demo going here, just showing it has an accelerometer. It has a color display. Um, oh, you shake that and it, uh, it does a dice roll. It'll dice roll. A very basic demo, one of the demos that it comes with, but it's it's quite easy to get going. There's headers on the end. So let me show that because it's it's kind of neat. Um, they have headers on the end here, and they're labeled with all the pins. So if you want to connect these little hats onto it, and then over here there's a Grove uh, connector as well if you would like to connect uh, cabled sensors. And this kit, the watch kit, is a little more expensive, but it comes not only with this watch hardware, um, but also these add-ons. So this, for example, is a little speaker with a Class D amplifier. And there's even, there is actually a speaker inside of here. So you plug this in. This demo doesn't have audio, but if you had a, uh, a demo that had audio output, it would come out through the speaker. Um, 
This is a little environmental add-on. So it has a DHT-12, which is a humidity sensor, BMP-280 barometric pressure sensor, and BMM-150, which is a magnetometer. Uh, and then inside, there's also already a gyro accelerometer. So this is, you know, you add this on, and now you have uh, even more environmental sensing that you can graph, or it's wireless. You can send it over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So I love these cute little boards. Uh, the display is really beautiful and crisp. Uh, it's like an IPS TFT. And it's, you know, about the same size as a feather, but it has all this stuff built in, and it's ready to go on, off button, power button, watch strap. Uh, so great for making little portable projects with the ESP32. Okay, next up. Um, we have from Kittenbot, we ordered a bunch of stuff. Um, Kittenbot, they make such cool, cute, and creative stuff. This is a uh, MakeCode Arcade compatible board, and I love this, this the smart uh, trick that they did here is they made the bottom micro bit compatible, so it can plug in like into any micro bit accessories, and we even have one of their accessories. So if you have like a robotics platform that's micro bit slotted or a Cricut, you can plug this in, and so using MicroPython or MakeCode Arcade, you can interface with additional hardware, and it's just like that edge connector that you can alligator clip to. So super smart, and it's MakeCode Arcade compatible. It's running the STM32F01, I think, uh, chipset. It's got light sensor, temperature sensor, on-off switch, SD card, slot. Uh, it's got a jack deck connector, QSPY flash, so a bunch of stuff. Oh, it has a gyro accelerometer on it, and uh, it's MakeCode Arcade compatible, so I think we have even a little video. Uh, yeah. GIF. Oh, I have the I have the overhead. Yeah, we also have some other um, accessories that go along with. It. You want to do all these at once? No, um, no. Let me show this, and then I'll show off the accessory because okay. accessories are different. It's a different product. So, this is just showing. Uh, you can run Make Code Arcade. So we have that for the Pi Badge and Pi Gamer, but maybe you want it in um, this more Game Boy style enclosure. Has a lovely silicone case, and then you can pop in a lipo battery, and it gets held in this pocket. It doesn't come with the battery. Um, but we stock them, and then this is the SD slot and the um, micro USB. And then this is an audio, this is Jackdack. So that's a uh, interface protocol. And then, yeah, right here you see that micro bit connector. So the next product, so, but it has the TFT display, so it has more than a micro bit. The next thing is also from Kittenbot, they have this kind of like micro bit bot. So it's a little add on that you can slot your micro bits into, and it adds. All these breakouts, it's like the servo kind of compatible pinout, but you can also just wire them to a breadboard, it has the alligator clips, has a headphone jack, has a buzzer, has a power on off switch. So it kind of adds more stuff and at a, a reasonable price and you get all this um, stuff to make it easy to extend your micro bit. So the micro bit just slots right in. So you can still use the buttons and the LEDs and all that good stuff but you're getting a buzzer and then you can turn the buzzer on and off and it has a micro USB power with switch, alligator pads, headphone jack, and then um, soldered connectors for all of the GPIO pins. So it's really easy to wire up different sensors and they're labeled very nicely on the back of this beautiful silk screen. So um, you can plug in your micro bit of course, or oops, the other way around, your micro bit like this, or if you have this, um, meow bit you can also plug that in and and now you can add more hardware to your Ar make code arcade or micro python projects all right so next up. good stuff from Kittenbot. do you want to yeah these are just images of the case yeah so that's the that's the multiple product yes got it okay sorry there's, there's and then a lot. the star of the show tonight besides you lady ada and the community is is the Pi Ruler. Yay, we're getting, we want to release a special edition of our ruler for um, August, which is MicroPython month, and 8.8 is MicroPython day. So this is a lot like the six inch uh, engineer's ruler that we've stocked for a bit, but it's smarter and better. This one has gold plated capacitive touch pads, and it's got that trinket built into the edge. So it's basically like a trinket M0 built into the ruler, and it's got Four capacitive touch pads as well, in addition to, you get all the trinket stuff. This is still like all exactly like a trinket. And then the extra pins that aren't used on this chip um, turn into these four pads and they have LEDs. So let me um, grab a cable and I can show this off. So you can program it just like a trinket M0 um, in circuit Python, which it comes yeah, with. This ruler shows up as a USB drive or it could be a keyboard. 
And yeah, you can edit. It comes with code that when you turn on, you just one little flag that you comment out because we don't want to give people something that like turns into a keyboard and unexpectedly. It'll become a keyboard. And this was to solve a problem that we had, which is I always have to type the letter, the letters like ohm, mu, and pi, but I can never remember the alt key code. So now when you press these capacitive touch pads, it'll type that out on the keyboard. And then DigiKey is sponsoring this ruler. They love our ruler. So when you type this, when you uh, press the DigiKey button, it will um, uh, type in the URL for digikey.com slash Python, which is our Python on hardware page. And then on the back, it has the little instructions telling you to plug into the USB port and open code.py, edit it, and save. And then you still have all of the goodies from the old ruler, the packages, and helper, but uh, it's even better because now it's, it's a CircuitPython ruler. And if you correspond with DigiKey, if you see them at an event, if you call them up on the phone to place an order, or if you're emailing with them, please thank them because they help us get all this hardware out. And they have been an excellent supporter in open source, open source software, open source hardware. And they are helping us get these rulers out to lots of people. So expect some surprises next week. Yep. You'll hear more about this. Yeah. So with, check it out. This is a, a nice update. Uh, it's it's the best, most useful circuit Python ruler in the world. All right. And that's new products. Yeah. Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. Okay.